I gotta tell you, this camera, I don't know if you can hear the sound of the sawing happening outside, but it's happening and I, I can hear it. This camera uh, brought in from OBSBOT has been something of a little piece of magic in my streams lately. Just in terms of adding extra flexibility in, in terms of cameras and, and visual interest for a viewer. Now, uh, OBSBOT, they sent me three of these guys and they're freaking sweet. Now, I already did a whole review on the OBSBOT, this link up here, uh, to top right, top right of your screen. You can go check that out if you want, but these cameras are fantastic. Automated cameras, self-tracking, uh, they do everything you could possibly want in terms of a camera, good microphone, internal batteries, you could take these with you on the go. Uh, everything about these things are freaking sweet, and I can't believe more people haven't started talking about these as like a main source of a webcam, or maybe someone that doesn't want to get like a DSLR or a mirrorless camera or something like that. Now these cameras pump out 4K at 30 FPS, uh, 1080p at 60 FPS, and, and much more, but uh, these cameras are fantastic. You can operate them over uh, a battery supply. They can send out an HDMI signal. You can connect them via NDI. You can do a wireless NDI. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you guys here today on how to connect these to stream with. I, I Literally, it's so easy to use these cameras. I can show you right here, right now, how fast and how easy it is to set this thing up on your computer. So uh, just with that, I'm gonna go ahead and power this guy up. Just like that, you're gonna see little batteries. It's gonna start to do its little automated process thing. And there it goes, and now it's starting to connect. So I already have the NDI key uh, inside this thing using the app. With uh, with the app here, I'm, I'm able to input a key in here, uh, which I think you could purchase through the OBSBOT uh, website for your cameras. Now you don't need the key. The key is literally just like a little feature to unlock to send this via wireless to your, uh, your, your internet so that you can see it on your home screen. So yeah. If you don't want to get that key, you can always get the little cable adapters that you can buy, which is essentially just like a, a type C connector on the back here to a, um, uh, an ethernet port, as well as a power pass through. So you can go ahead and, uh, connect that way too. These can also take uh, HDMI outputs. I think you can send over, um, USB type C to your computer as well. Uh, it's very great. Everything about this thing is sweet and uh, it, it just makes your life so easy. And not only that, you can control it via your phone. Now, just real quick, just to show you quick and simple, um, I have the OBSBOT uh, app here. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up on a box. Got a little red Komodo box here. Yeah, that'll do. So I have this camera here. Uh, now I labeled my cameras in my office here because I have three of them. But on the back, I put these little codes on here and I just wrote 99C because that's the, the serial number kind of that pops up in the app. So I know which one is which. Now I can always come over here and rescan for the cameras that are available on my network. Now three cameras gonna show up. This one's my overhead cam. This is the camera looking at right here and I'd probably have to rescan. Oh, there it is and there's my rear cam. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and connect to this camera here which is this camera that you're seeing. So now I have my camera here and just like that, it's already connected wirelessly to here. And now I can sit here and if you watch the camera and my phone, I can always drag left and now the camera's moving left and right. I'm able to look all over the place, which is pretty freaking great. Um, it also has little presets down here so I can always hit a preset and it'll automatically go back to what I set to. Amazing camera. This is so beneficial for a content creator to go ahead and quickly jump to a camera that you would wanna jump to in, in no time. I'm gonna go ahead and run through how to connect these cameras to your OBS so that you can start streaming with them right away, super simple. Now, there's all these extra buttons and whatnot on your screen, and if you just wanted this off to the side to view as a monitor while you're streaming or anything like that, you can always tap this little upper right hand button and it's just full clean screen. You can see just how delayed it is via uh, over Wi-Fi right now, uh, which is pretty cool. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and connect this up and we're gonna go ahead and take a look. So if I come over here to my OBS, I have a little instance open here and I just go ahead and add a new source. It's this simple. All you gotta do is, is find an NDI source. Now this is a plugin, maybe it's available on OBS now. If you see plugins or anything like that during this, just know that I have installed lots of plugins over my time on streaming and, and content creation. So if you see something and you wanna know about it, hit me up, let me know and I'll go over what that is or I'll answer in a comment below. But for the majority of everything you see here, you should have access to everything I'm doing here. This is just OBS 30.1.2, is pretty new, but you just follow along here. I'm gonna go ahead and add an NDI source and click OK. Now, there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, right here on this drop-down menu of the source name, and you're gonna see 
the tail air. Now you remember that 99C that I told you about? There it is right there. So this is not renamed for me. It's just a little serial number. So I'm going to go ahead and click on 99C and it should pop up here in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and just push that there and look, boom, you're already seeing the camera. Now, if I come to this little setting here, you can choose the, the kind of quality you want. I'm going to choose the highest. You can also choose the sync uh, in terms of uh, audio and video. And uh, you got some other options down here in terms of uh, color range, partial and full. Uh, you also got some color space, some latency. Now I leave it on normal for safe. Now you could make it lower, lowest, and that would fix some of the, uh, you know, the timing and whatnot. But if you look at me here on the, uh, the old screen versus my camera, it's pretty much in sync and that's on normal latency. So I can't really imagine what, uh, it would have here. Oh, right. I forgot it has automation. So now it'll start tracking me. And if I move this camera around, it's going to try to maybe hunt for me. So if I fly that over here and fly it back, it's going to try to look for me. I think there's a little smudge on the lens here. Pretty cool, man. Um, it's going to track me and, uh, I can always tell it to zoom in with, uh, gestures. So kind of neat that I can do that again. This camera's pretty cool. So again, gesture back out. And, uh, I think this thing has a zoom. I kind of forget how to do it. Zoom like this and then zoom out. <laughs> so cool. Holding our hand up here and it's going to be like, cool. Now it's going to stop following me. I can walk out. Great. This thing is so cool. Anyway, okay, besides the point, you can see right here, I got my camera set up. Now, back to my phone, I can go right back over here and disconnect from my camera, and now I can go rescan for my other cameras, and we got two more here. So I can actually, I have them turned off right now, but they actually have a little power button. Let me go ahead and turn my brightness down. I can actually come over here, and I can turn on my, uh, my camera just by tapping that little button, and it's gonna turn on this overhead camera that I have uh, above me and I can see it operating right now now while I'm at it I might as well go over here and turn on my rear camera as well and that should be kicking on here in just a second so a camera in the background that you can't see right now we'll have that up here in just a second so let's jump right back into OBS and uh, we're gonna go ahead and scale this image down and just put that over here for now and we're gonna add another NDI source and I'm gonna click OK we'll call it source 2 and source name you're gonna see another one pop up here that's 1F9 that's my overhead view. So once I click on that and I click OK, you're going to see that it now also is over here in its own little world. Now, these are also capturing audio, so I'm going to go ahead and mute those. It's not an issue. You guys shouldn't hear that, but, it, you know, it might you might hear. It. So uh, we're going to go ahead and scale this up, put this over here in the top right corner. And just for now, we're going to go full screen so you guys can see what's happening here. Now, I'm going to go connect to that camera. Again, this is my overhead camera, so I'm going to go ahead and hit connect. And this thing should connect here in just a minute. And just like that, I'm connected. And if I hit this little uh, P1 for preset one or preset two, uh, I can just click on this and it's going to automatically go and go to my position that I already have preset for it. Now you can see, you know, I'm working over here. I got my uh, SSD caddy to plug in the card that we're recording to right now. I got my camera set up over here, my main monitor, my other OBS kind of, you know, recording over here. Now I can always hold this thing up here. And you can see exactly what we're seeing. It's going to auto focus to that. And I can always hit uh, maybe P3 and it's going to go look over at my chair over there. And then I can always hit P2 and it should kind of go to a more zoomed state. And then lastly, I can go over here back to P1 and it's going to go back to a unzoomed state. So pretty cool. I can set all these things and I can always readjust this whatever I want. I can just push and hold on my screen here and drag all over the place to see my setup or do whatever I want. So if you know, I wanted to see um, this microphone here, I can go ahead and just look down at it, click on the zoom, and we can start zooming in on this uh, Sure microphone here. So I'm going to go ahead and click out of this, go like this, and now we're looking at my microphone. So I can make this a preset, so I'm going to go ahead and press, uh, press, press and hold my P3 here, and I'm going to be able to click update, and now I can click on P1, back to this thing here. P2, a little more zoomed in. P3, it's going to zoom in right on that microphone, and it's going to be there every single time that I want it. Freaking cool, right? Anyway, that's all besides the point. Let's go back to P1 here, and uh, we'll take our entire image here. We'll scale that on down. That'll be our second cam, so we'll just leave that off to the side here. Let's add camera, NDI, bada bing, come down here, and go find that rear cam, which it is uh, three, three, 393. Uh, right here and this will pop up here in a minute so you can scroll down and you can enable audio or not have it enabled so uh, this one I'm gonna disable I could have done that for these two but I didn't and you can also sit here and control your camera via OBS which is pretty cool so I can sit here and you know start to 
pan and tilt even though these are backwards uh tilt should be up and down pan is left and right so maybe that's an obs fluke right there now we have our camera here set up and again i have my presets here so i hit p1 and it goes to my uh, my default state now normally this camera is tracking on a slider but i don't have that necessarily working at the moment um and then i also have it at a state where you can kind of sit here and watch my my cat who just likes to hang out underneath my desk and then uh a little more zoomed in here on my screen and then back to the uh wide bit so pretty cool now i could come over here and just double tap on uh myself and now it's gonna try to want to track me so if i come over here hey it's tracking me not bad not bad now i'm able to turn around and do all this kind of stuff and it's gonna try to track me and whatnot and you can actually see above me if i click on this and push and hold you can actually see the other camera i have set up uh on my ceiling right there and i can come over here click on my zoom feature and we can just zoom in and I can get right on over to that cam and right there. So now you can see that I have my camera set up right up here <laughs> up high, which is great. It, it's cool to be able to like show people what I'm doing and how I'm doing things. So I uh, always go back to P1. This is my position one. So pretty great. So now that we have all three cams, you can see right here, just like that, I have all three cams working on my OBS and it's uh, it's pretty good here, but I'm gonna go add some more scenes and show you kind of what else you can do here. So I'm gonna add a second scene. We're gonna go back to our cameras, NDI, choose a source that's already available. We'll choose the first one. We'll come over here, add another scene, scene three, come over here, add our NDI camera. We're gonna add the source two. And then we're going to come add another scene, add scene four. We're going to call this, uh, or we're going to add the NDI source number three. So now we have all three sources on uh, individual uh, scenes here, as well as, you know, my, me uh, on, on, I guess, on all, all of them. Oh, it's tracking me already. You got to be careful. Sometimes these cameras, if you, if you keep your hand up too long, it's going to auto track you. So you got to make sure to watch out. And, and multiple times throughout my stream, sometimes this back camera will end up tracking me so pretty interesting let's go ahead and uh, kind of show you one more step here now that i have all of my uh, my cameras on different scenes i can come up here to the view and i can go to multi-view now i could send this full screen to a specific monitor but for this i'm just going to go to a uh, multi-cam uh, windowed mode and if i blow this up you can actually see exactly what all my cameras are doing so if i was in a professional instance of a, a commercial or something like that and i needed to jump to certain cameras here uh, you can see i have all my different scenes down here and if i click on a black scene you can see i have all my different scenes you got the one with all of them you got my scene two my scene three and my scene four to represent the different cameras pretty cool so if i want I, you can see the preview and the program program so it's going out to your stream preview is exactly that just a preview so if i click on scene two boom right there it's going right to my program and you can change that setting if you need to but for demonstration purposes this is fine really simple now there's one extra thing you can do here and it's if you get a little extra uh feature which is a remote L let me grab that so you know you might have the question at some point to be like hey activator man like i don't i don't fully want to uh have to go to my app every time i want to change a setting and then go back and forth and back and forth well, good news, you have a remote here that I can simply turn on, which will now pop up. You can see this little light, it's kind of connecting. These lights will turn on. And these little numbers down here represent the camera uh, in which is being connected. And if I go back to maybe uh, this scene here and I hold this up, you can kind of see that this remote right here, this remote right here has all these extra features that are basically within the app itself as well. So as much as you can use the app to go ahead and, and get all this taken care of. You can also use just a remote if you want. I'm going to go over here and we're going to connect to our, what was this? Camera one, camera two, camera three. I'm not sure. I don't think I have these actually hooked up properly here. So if I, you, you know, move my joystick here, which camera? Oh, I picked the right one. Nice. So I can sit here and I can just remotely control my camera however I see fit. And then there's always a little zoom rocker. So I can come over here to the side button here and start to zoom in and then start to zoom out. So, you know, if I'm doing a presentation or something like that and I wanted to show something, hey, everybody, take a look at my uh, my uh, my monitor over here and uh, we'll go ahead and zoom in on uh, this screen here. Uh, that's my microphone. But if we just go ahead and zoom in on the screen, pretty good. And I can talk to people about what I'm doing on the fly, which is pretty great. Now, I, again, I can always hit my presets here. So if I hit preset one, it's going to automatically go back to what my preset was. And this preset was a little different. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate this on back here. I'm actually going to select my third camera. You can see it changed over using the little green there. And now we should be on this camera here. And we are. So 
you can see I'm able to move this thing around using my little joystick here. And again, if I click on, uh, you know, P2, it's going to go to that zoom state of where my cat is. P3 should be a little zoom to my uh, my desktop and P1 is back to my full screen. So if you didn't want to go into your app, you can always just straight up use this and look at your OBS while doing it. So let's go back to our multi view. If I go back to my multi view window here, we'll drag this, make it a little bit bigger. Now check this out. So let's say I'm on a scene over here looking at me. We're talking now. Keep an eye on the bottom right hand scene for there and I can quickly, you know, let's say some producer was talking to me. He's like, oh, we got to zoom in on that activator sign. I come over here and we can just straight zoom in while I'm still talking as the announcer. Great. Great. Now that camera's ready. All right, let's go over to camera four here. Boom. Camera four looking good. Now, uh, you know, let's go back to the overhead view and now take that camera four, go back to the P1 state and you can see it's already going back. All right, camera four, we're back. And this is how live, you know, cameras work at like baseball or the award shows for, uh, you know, the Oscars or whatever. Freaking cool. So now you can have that same type of professionalism as a full blown production for the Oscars here at your uh, your home and you can stream it. So pretty freaking cool, man. And you know, no one's the wiser in terms of your viewers. They all just think you're a, a rock star with all these different cams and showing off cool features and whatnot. So pretty cool, man. That's it. So simple to add these things to your OBS. Go check out uh, OBSBOT uh, cameras. They're freaking cool. Uh, PTZ cameras are fantastic and they make your life way easier, especially with gestures. Now, keep in mind that these things will track you and do all that stuff so you can take the stream elsewhere. Uh, and again, this camera is literally battery powered and we're still we're still going here. So, um, you know, keep that in mind that you have a battery option and a PTZ camera at that to track you and do all your stuff. So if you do some IRL streaming and anything, uh, you got all this at your fingertips. All right. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, go check it out. Links down below. I put everything down there. So if you have questions, comment down below. I'll take care of it. Uh, thanks.